Hello there, it's Avinam Nirola. I'm back here with my new video. Now, it's time to preview the second semi finals of CPLT 2020 that is going to be played between two of the better teams of the tournament, St. Lucia Zooks and Guyana Amazon Warriors. Do like, share, and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel as well. On 8th and 9th of August 2020 in West Indies and South Asia respectively, this match is going to be played at the Brian Lara Stadium, Taroba Trinidad. Well, this venue is a spin-friendly venue. According to the statistics, both these teams have their victory rates around 50% mark in this venue. The pitch conditions are expected to sustain from the first match of the day. The pitch shall most probably assist bowlers, especially spinners, a lot in the first innings. Since a clear sky is expected, dew can very well be on the cards. The dew factor shall not allow the bowlers to bowl easily in the second innings. As per the forecast, the sky is expected to remain fairly clear. So considering the dew factor in mind in this night encounter, the toss winning captain shall most probably opt to field first. St. Lucia Zooks, Rakim Conwall, Andre Fletcher, wicket keeper, Mark Dale, Roston Chase, Nazibullah Zadran, Mohammad Nabi, Darren Sammy, captain, Javel Glenn, Scott Kugeline, Kesrick Williams, and Zahir Khan. This 11 certainly is the best 11 from the whole lot of players they possess in the squad. This 11 has a brilliant mix of 9 batting and bowling options each. This team has vast amount of spin bowling options and that's why this team can potentially dominate in this very specific venue. All players of this 11 have been performing in at least one department from the very first match. There are a lot of utility players in this team such as Mark Dale, Muhammad Nabi and Javel Glenn. Guyana Amazon Warriors Brandon King, Chandapal Hemraj, Simran Hitmeyer, Ross Taylor, Nicholas Puran, Wicket Keeper, Kevin Sinclair, Kimu Paul, Chris Green, Captain, Romerio Sefer, Naveen Ulhak, and Imran Tahir. This 11 is an inform 11. As per the quality of players that this side squad has, this isn't the best 11 as a couple of highly rated players are missing. But definitely in terms of current form, this 11 is the best out of their whole lot. Their batting lineup, after that infamous 45 ball 100 from Puran, has been coming back to form slowly and gradually. Honestly, GAW have the best bowling lineup as per the current performances. Green and Tyre have reflected what experience actually is, 7 bowling options and 8 batting options. In this team, reflect sheer balance. This one really is a very tough call. In my opinion, SLZ have played better cricket than GAW throughout the whole tournament. So, may the better side win. Take care.